I, I, he, he, can, he can ask me. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Well, we'll, st we'll start. What's your name? I'm Mason. Mason. Okay, Wahab, nice to meet you. Uh, what's been your uh, experience with religion so far, my dear brother? So, I don't know. My family's against the religion. Okay. I'm very against it. So, I'm kind of wondering if I were to kind of worship any sort of religion, which one of you would recommend it? Well, let me just go ahead and break down religions for you really quick, okay? So when it comes to religion, it comes in, uh, like, let's say there's different varieties, right? There's monotheistic religions that believe God is one. Then there's polytheistic religions where they believe in multitude gods, right? Then there's atheists that don't believe in a God. Then there's agnostic people who don't know who God is, okay? So that sums it up very quickly, right? When it comes to monotheistic religions, right? Because when it comes to polytheistic religions, they believe in idol worship, right? Can you make God with your hands? No. Right? So for them, they believe they can make God and worship God, right? We don't believe God, a human can make God with their hands. There's a story of Abraham. Have you heard, have you heard of the name Abraham before? A a Abraham. So he's one of the prophets of God. Well, a very, very, uh, you know, um, important prophet of God, right? His father was an idol maker, right? As a young child, Ibrahim was only seven years old. His father told him that you should worship these idols that, you, that I make with my own hands. He said, Father, how can I worship something that I've seen you make with your own hands? He's like, do, because the thing is, for them, there was a business. The they would buy, sell, trade gods. This was their business. You get what I'm trying to say? But we don't believe in that. We believe in following the truth, not following whatever our desires choose, right? Right? There's a difference between following the truth and then following what your desires. Right? Wh which one would you follow? Would you follow the truth or would you follow your desires? The truth. The truth. Okay, wonderful, my brother. So when it comes to um, uh, monotheistic religions, there's a variety of monotheistic religions, right? There's Judaism, right? There's Christianity. And then there's Islam, okay? These are the three monotheistic, the main three monotheistic religions. So when it comes to the differences, I'll go ahead and share with you the difference between Islam, Judaism, and Christianity, and then you choose what you believe is true, cool? Because I'm not here to choose for you. Everyone has their own choice to make. I'm here to only warn you of the truth, and then you decide what you believe is true or not, cool? So let's go ahead and go over. When it comes to Judaism, right? The Jews believe that God needed rest. Okay, that God created the world in six days, seventh day he rested. Have you ever heard of that statement before? Okay, so you have no experience with religion at all, huh? Okay, so the Jews, they believe that on the seventh day, God rested. He created the world, seventh day he rested. As Muslims, we believe God needs no rest, right? That God is far beyond that, right? He does not get tired. He does not need food. He does not need sleep. So I'll go ahead and go over the verse of the Quran that goes over that. Page 22, verse 255, okay? And please, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. There's no such thing as a stupid question, okay? Yeah, I don't know how to read yeah so page 22, verse 255. Verse what? Uh, 255. What's uh, Surah? It's Surah yeah. Yeah. So it says right here, okay? Allah, there is no God worthy of worship except Him. The ever-living, all-sustaining, neither drowsiness nor sleep overtakes him. To him belongs whatever is in the heavens and whatever is on earth. Who could possibly intercede with him without his permission? He fully knows what is ahead of them and what is behind them. And no one could grasp any of his knowledge except what he wills to reveal. His seat encompasses the heavens and the earth and the preservation of both does not tire him. For he is the most high, the greatest. So the Quran is very clear, right? That God does not get tired, right? So this is our disagreement when it comes to Islam and Judaism. It's a, these are like showing you a few of the differences, right? They believe God got tired. Also, they believe that God is regretful, that God made mistakes. And, you know, like, for instance, after the flood of Noah, that God, you know, he regretted making humans. We don't believe that. Because as Muslims, we believe the Bible has been distorted, has been corrupted, right? That humans wrote into the books of God with their own hands, and they attributed what they wanted instead of what God said. Does that make sense? And they did it for power and for money. In order to gain power and in order to make money. That's why a lot of the religions today are businesses. You get what I'm trying to say? It's not about following God. It's about following your own desires. And for them to be a middleman between the human and God. And they're preying on the vulnerability of people. Does that make sense? Okay. So... Yeah. So now when it comes to Islam and Christianity, right? Christianity believes in the idea of a trinity, right? That God is divided into three, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Well, I'll tell you what the Quran says about that. Have you ever heard of the concept of the trinity and Christianity and stuff like that? You never researched any of these things. Okay, well, I guess let's, then let's, let's just go over what you believe then. 
Well, what do you what do you believe about God? Do you believe there is a creator? I believe there is something. I'm just not for sure what. Okay. Okay. Then let me explain to you who God is. Then. How, how about that? And then you tell me if that makes sense to you or not. Cool. So let's go over who God is. Uh, page. Uh, page. Let me see. Three seventy four. Page three seventy four. Chapter one twelve. Okay. So it's at the very end. Cool. Yeah. So I'll go ahead and recite. So this is a book from God, okay? This is the final testament sent from God. So we believe Almighty God sent previous revelations, right? Such as the Torah, right, to the Jews, and such as the gospel to, to the Christians, right? But those books, after the prophets of God were no longer with them, the people started changing the books of God with their own hands and ascribing to God that God what God did not say. You get know what I'm trying to say? So the book was corrupted. Almighty God sent another revelation, which is the Quran. And this time the book was memorized. It's not just in a written tradition, but through an oral tradition. I'll show you right now what I mean by that. Because we've been taught to memorize the whole book. You get know what I'm trying to say? So let's say if you came and you try to change it, you can't change it because we memorized it. You get know what I'm trying to say? Do you know any of the Quran by chance? Of course. So how about this? Uh, can I show you how, how we preserved it in an oral tradition? Go ahead. So I, I'll go ahead and recite Surah Fatiha. I'll make some mistakes and I want you to correct it, okay? Obviously, you know I never met him before, okay? Cool. A'udhu billahi minash shaytanir rajeem Bismillahir rahmanir rahim Alhamdulillah Hey, Rob. You see, boom, he corrupted I already made a mistake. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen Ar-Rahmanir There you go. You see, you get what I'm saying? Like, it's through an oral tradition that we learn to preserve the entire book. So as soon as, if I'm saying it wrong, immediately he could correct me. You know what I'm trying to say? That's how, the, that's how the Quran has been preserved and, and is absolutely perfect, okay? So now I'll recite to you who Almighty God is and go over those verses, okay? A'udhu billahi minash shaytani rajeem Bismillahir rahmanir rahim Qul huwa Allahu ahad Allahu samad Lam yalid wa lam yulad Wa lam yakul lahu kufuan ahad Right? It says right here In the name of Allah the most compassionate, the most merciful, that He is Allah, one and indivisible. So this is what we believe about God. The God is absolutely one, and He cannot be divided into parts. What do you think about that? I do believe that there is just one being. There is no sort of... Do you mind speaking up a little bit? It's a little hard to hear you. Yeah, I believe that there is one being. Hey, come closer to it. Don't worry, bro. I'm not going to bite you, bro. Yeah, yeah. Um, I believe there is one being. There is not multiple, like with Christianity, because I know that they believe in... Well, the, in Christianity, they, they don't believe that they believe in multiple gods. You get what I'm saying? They believe they believe in one god, but it comes in the form of Trinity. Yeah. For us, that's a multiple gods, because they believe each one is 100% god. You get what I'm trying to say? Yeah. yeah. Okay, go ahead, continue. But no, I just believe there's one overall all-powered being, okay. rather than multiple. Okay, beautiful. Why can't there be multiple gods? Because I believe there's only one creator. Okay. Maybe one person created the world. And it's, this is all one person's image. Okay, it's very interesting. So, uh, so, so when it comes to Islam, it says that there can't be multiple gods because if there were multiple gods, they would fight for fight with each other for power. You get what I'm trying to say? Mm -hmm. So there is no multiple gods. There's only one God, right? So you agree with that so far, right? I do. Allah, the sustainer needed by God, uh, uh, the sustainer needed by all, right? So Allah does, Allah does not need anyone or anything. Is that something that you believe? That God does not need anyone or anything? Or do you think God needs people? Do you think God needs us by any chance? No. no. I believe that God could do everything himself. That he does not need human beings? No. Nor does he need Jesus at all, like, or any other prophets. He doesn't need them. Beautiful. Okay. And... He has never had offspring, meaning we are not the children of God. We are the children of Adam and Eve, which are the first human beings. Since we are humans, we're going to be a product of a human. Obviously, if God had children, then we would be gods too, correct? But we're not gods, right? We're human beings. So we are the children of Adam and Eve, right? And it says, nor was God born. So when it says Jesus was born, right? Because we believe Jesus was born of a miracle birth through Mother Mary, right? But we don't believe that God can be born because God has no beginning. He has no end. Is that something that you agree with? Yes. Okay, wonderful. And there is none comparable to him. So this is what we believe is the identity of God. Is there anything that I said that you disagree with? So what's, you know, what makes Islam different than any other religion? This, we, we're the only ones that believe this criteria of God. No one else believes this type of criteria when it comes to God. So that's what makes Islam different than any other religion. So now my question to you is like, what's stopping you from accepting Islam now, my dear brother? Since it is something that you align with, something that you agree with. 
I don't believe there's anything stopping me. It's just a matter of if I, if I want to. Okay. Do you know anything about the Prophet Muhammad? No. So the Prophet Muhammad is the final messenger of God. Okay. He is the seal of the prophets. Okay. He was sent the final revelation. And he was sent as the only messenger that was sent for all of mankind. We believe that there were different prophets and different messengers that were sent, but they were only sent to certain people at that certain time. But there's only one prophet that was sent to the whole world, which is the Prophet Muhammad, right? And whenever you are ready, whenever you read the book and educate yourself, just know that this is what you say when you're ready to accept Islam, right? You say that you bear witness, there's no God but Allah, the one true God, and that, that Prophet Muhammad is simply a servant and a messenger of God. As Muslims, we will never worship the Prophet Muhammad. Never. Never. Okay? Whoever worships the Prophet Muhammad as God is no longer a Muslim. Because you have to understand what a Muslim means. Do you know what the word Muslim means? A person who submits to God. And the word Islam, do you know what the word Islam means? It means submission to God. So the religion of God is very simple. Either you choose to submit to God, or you choose to submit to the devil. Knowingly or unknowingly. You get what I'm trying to say? So then, now you have a choice. To decide what you believe is the truth. Now you have the Quran in your hands. So I, I just, I, you know, I say that, you know, try to read it to the best of your ability. And uh, if you have any questions, I'll give you my Instagram. And you can feel free to reach out to me if you have any questions, okay? Cool. Any questions about what I presented to you so far? Okay, beautiful, my brother. You have everything you need, my brother. Another book I'd love to gift you is A Brief Illustrated Guide to Understanding Islam. I'd love to give you a prayer mat as well, my brother. What color would you like? I have a variety of colors. I have these colors too. If you like these colors more, yeah. But you wanted to pick what he likes, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You like that one? Okay, cool. Go ahead. Go ahead. Do it. Do it then. And then here's a gift for me to you. This is a, a prayer manual that teaches you how to worship God. Okay. Of, of course. Brother. Of course, my brother. Also, feel free to grab whatever you like as well. Would you like a Quran as well, my brother? No, I have plenty. Of okay, cool, cool. What about a prayer mat? You need one? I might, I might need one. Go ahead. Grab whatever. I, I, I have these colors as well, so whatever color that you like, okay, brother? Go ahead. No problem, my brother. It's a gift from me to you. And yeah, man, I, I wish you the best on your journey, my brother. Just remember that God is one, right? And he is not a human being, okay? And you worship God alone. If you do that till your death, then inshallah you will be in paradise, okay? I wish you the best, okay? Can I give you a hug, man? Yes, of course. All right, bro. God bless you, man. I wish you the best. And uh, if you have any questions, go ahead and take down my Instagram. And then we'll go ahead and continue con con conversing from there, okay? It's I am the Warner. I am the Warner. He's all over the internet. He changes lives. Uh, well, actually, it's not me that changes lives. It's Allah. It's Allah. It's Allah. Yeah. Yeah, that's me. Yeah. So just go ahead and send me a message whenever you have questions, and we'll go ahead and continue conversing, okay? God bless you, my brother, okay? Thank you so much for having an open mind and an open heart. You have everything you need, though, okay, my brother? Okay. Yeah. It's not like, may Allah bless you, okay? Give me a hug, too, bro. Oh, okay, I got okay. it. <laughs> may Allah bless you, okay? Bro. Pleasure meeting you as well. Ah, why don't we push each other to read the Quran? Quran is the only Quran app in the world that allows you to add friends and family. Every time they read, it notifies you. Every time you read Quran, it notifies them. It pushes each of you to read more Quran. The Prophet Sassam told us to compete in good deeds. Download Quran, -y, try it free for seven days, and change your life with the words of Allah. <laughs> كلما ألقي فيها فوج سألهم خزنتها سألهم خزنتها ألم يأتكم نذير قالوا بلى قد جاءنا نذير فكذبنا وقلنا ما نزل الله وقلنا ما نزل الله من شيء إن أنتم إلا في ضلال كبير وقالوا لو كنا نسمع أو نعقل ما كنا في أصحاب السعير فاعترفوا بذنبهم فسهقا لأصحاب السعير